This is a video about making artificial noble gases. Noble gases act like noble gases because their outermost complement of electrons uh, is full, and thus they are complete and lack uh, reactivity with their surroundings. Now, an artificial halogen has been created and published, or a halogen effect molecule has been created and published, made of aluminum atoms. How this works is each of the aluminum atoms lends part of their uh, electron density to a particular place at the geometry of the molecule. That particular location has a particularly high electron density, then acts like a halogen. Now, I think it might be possible to make a kind of curved geometry of aluminum atoms where the outermost surface of the molecule is very calm and has a full complement of electrons to the outermost uh, electron orbitals. A molecule like that would mimic a noble gas and be almost completely unreacted with its surroundings, whereas uh, most of the uh, concentration of electrons might be at the core of the molecule. Now, when you look at the masses of the noble gases, I think radon has a uh, quite a high mass, something over 280, 287, something like that. And aluminum is actually about a tenth as dense as that, even as a pure metal. Thus, it's possible that a geometry of aluminum atoms at a particular molecule where the outermost surface was full of completely filled uh, electron orbitals would act just like a noble gas. So what would this metallic noble gas look like? Would it be pretty and reflective, or would it be more like a, a, a white cloud or a white, a white wispy material? I think it's possible that by manipulating the molecule, different colors could be produced. So it's actually an opportunity to create different colors of noble gases, as well as different workalikes to noble gases. Also, the material might suddenly change its behavior with response to electromagnetic radiation, which could be um, chemically beneficial.